Why do you seem so scared? and welcome back to Paranormal TV. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite house downtown to go and visit in downtown Philadelphia. It is the Hill Physics House. This is my favorite museum. It's such a beautiful house. It's It's so rich in history. So Dr. Physics is known as the father of American surgery and for really good reason. I highly recommend if you are in the Philadelphia area that you check out the physics house you go and do a tour of it because it's really interesting it's really beautiful you will not regret it it's a must for history buffs it really is it's just such a great place I had did a tour like years ago and it was amazing my tour guide was really good he was an older man so I don't even know if he's like even still alive but it was such a great tour and I'm, I feel like, you know, anybody who's doing the tour is probably going to give you a very similar tour. You'll probably have a similar experience that I had and it was really great. So not only is this house beautiful, rich in history, but it's also supposedly haunted, which makes it another... <laughs> Sorry if you heard that, but that makes it another great reason to go and visit this house. My nephews are here, so my dog's going to cry because she loves them. Sorry guys if you hear anything. In 1976 this house was declared a National Historic Landmark. I want to talk about the history for a little bit before I go ahead and talk about the haunting because the history is really great. Dr. Physic was born in Philadelphia but he did study abroad. He studied in London and Edinburgh which he came back to Philadelphia to work as a surgeon. He taught surgery and anatomy at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Physics was very innovative. He brought new techniques. So in 1793, the yellow fever epidemic hit Philadelphia and it hit it hard and a lot of doctors were leaving Philadelphia at this time, but Dr. Physics was one of the few who stuck around. He worked with his friend Benjamin Rush and while he was working with fever victims, he actually came down with yellow fever himself and he accredits his survival to Benjamin Rush. Dr. Physics was actually elected the first professor of surgery in the University of Pennsylvania. So you can see he's very revolutionary. He was very revolutionary. Another thing he did was actually come up with, you know, Coke for the stomach, which actually some doctors still believe to this day. So you can actually get the Coke that he came up with in various places downtown. So obviously it doesn't taste like Coca-Cola. It tastes completely different. I have never had it, but you know it tastes completely different. But he is the one who came up with that idea. The ghost hunters actually investigated the physics house and that is the only reason why I watched the episode because I love this house so much. It probably sounds crazy how much I love the house but I just think it is so interesting. My mom loves it a lot too. We both find this house really interesting. We both find Dr. Physic really interesting and we find him very revolutionary. He was a very revolutionary doctor. You cannot deny that. They are so loud. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the loudness that is my nephews, but they're little and they're excited to be here. You probably hear my sister-in-law who is just as loud, if not louder, than the children. So Dr. Physic's ex-wife is said to haunt the house. People claim to hear his wife whimpering and crying throughout the house, which she was banned from after they got divorced. My camera died, so I'm sorry about that. If I change position, that is why. So in Dr. Physic's yard, there was a tree that his former wife really loved. She loved this tree. So shortly before her death, the tree was chopped down and she said to haunt that area as well. So one thing that I did hear that I cannot find anywhere, but I remember hearing it on my ghost tour that I did a while ago. So there was a man there who was a tour guide. He was in the home alone and the doorbell rang and he went to answer the door and it was this woman and he turned around briefly and when he turned back around, the woman was gone. She vanished really quickly. He has no idea where she went. She didn't go up or down the street. She just vanished 
in thin air. So that is all I could find on the physicals. I know that there are more things to the haunting. I'm going to dig a little deeper and if I can find more things about the haunting I will. I'll let you guys know. I will update you in a part two to this because I love this house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So make sure if you come to visit the city of Philadelphia you check out this house. You will not be disappointed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!